All right, we tell our clients all the time that if uh, they buy one of the cinnamon twists, it makes great French toast. So today, Phantom Farm is gonna make French toast with our cinnamon twist. Makes the best French toast you'll ever have. All right, stay tuned. So one of the products I like is this little German made knife. It's called the magic knife. You can set the thickness for your slices there. Really good little, little tool here. It helps us keep our, uh, keep our bread sliced the right way. So we're gonna make some slices using that, using the magic knife. The way we get some good uniform slices, it's not just random. Plus, I don't know if you've ever seen Teenagers use a regular knife on some regular bread. Boy, they can butcher it up pretty good. So uh, we bought this knife and it really helps. So I'm gonna cut your bread into some regular standard slices here. Get this done right quick. You can see how really good this knife works great. Just so sharp. And so you can see how good this cinnamon twist bread looks when it is cut like that, boy, beautiful. Look at that piece, look at the cinnamon, butter and sugar in there. Michelle insists we put a lot of butter and sugar in there and we always listen to Michelle because Michelle is always right. All right guys, we've got our ingredients together. So we've got eggs, we're gonna end up having eight eggs. This is about two thirds of a cup of milk, and this is about three quarters of a cup, looks like, of cream. Then we've got sugar. With It's already got a pinch of salt in it. Put a little dash in there. And we've got the vanilla and cinnamon. We really like cinnamon, so we uh, add our cinnamon uh, to taste. So we're just gonna sprinkle that in. Got those farm fresh eggs here. Don't forget, if you're ever in Nolensville or Smyrna at a Saturday markets, we have farm fresh eggs, and of course we have our cinnamon uh, twist bread here in honey wheat. I'm gonna let the hands uh, that really work the magic take over from here. And that is the beautiful hands of uh, the uh, Bantam Farming co-owner, uh, Michelle Mack. She says I'm so silly, everyone. All she lets me do is throw the eggshells away. Oh, neat little trick. If you have chickens, keep them. Uh, I use them. We toss them over into our compost bin. And the chickens really like to eat them because they've got a little extra calcium and stuff in it. So, yeah, we keep a little bowl to decide to toss things like that in. But if you don't have chickens, just throw them right in the trash can. Or if you have a compost bin, make sure to put them in compost. So we'll add... A little bit of calcium to your compost and it's a uh, super slow release too and uh, here's a little fact if you live in where we live which is in Tennessee or uh, in Alabama which is even known more for red clay uh, calcium is really something you're going to be deficient so it's something you're going to want to add to your gardens good way to do that is by adding gypsum there was the milk and the cream and the eggs Vanilla. We make our own vanilla around here. Maybe you'll get a video on that soon. Up, oh, little production problem there. Michelle's not shy on the cinnamon, in case y'all haven't noticed. <clears throat> it's great. You know, cinnamon toast is really just a custard, a bread dipped in a custard. So what makes something a custard is eggs, particularly egg yolks. So you're making a custard. God is making a thunderstorm outside in case you heard that thunder. But you're really making a custard that you're gonna dip the, your bread in. So yeah, I told y'all she likes the cinnamon. But that's why you like her uh, cinnamon twist bread so much. Uh, it ain't called cinnamon twist bread for nothing. Let me get this out of the way. I'm being a bad assistant here. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just going to take and soak your bread in there. While she's doing that, I'm going to get a skillet ready over here. All right, we've got here a skillet that's on medium heat. Uh, we use real butter here. You know, Michelle and I grew up in the uh, 70s and 80s, uh, you know, when some idiot came up with margarine and said we were all supposed to be eating margarine. I was married before I was eating butter all the time. And uh, man, you know, butter will change your life. Uh, so it definitely changed everything we cooked and ate. And, uh, you know, it's, it's real food. So we try to only use real food in our products. So uh, when we're making French toast, we're making it with butter. So got our French toast over here, got our butter over there. We're going to uh, let the pan heat up and uh, let this butter get nice and uh, not brown, but good and melted and let the pan get good and hot uh, before we put in our French toast. So we'll be back just a second and we'll start making some French toast. All right, we've got our butter nice and melted here. Got our pan nice and hot. We're gonna take our first piece here that's been soaking in the good stuff. I'm gonna drop it right on there. See if we can make two work in here. It's a little bit of a small pan, there we go. All right, we've got it on medium heat, maybe just a tad bit higher. You know, our oven sort of goes up to like nine. I've got it right in the middle at five and a half, six, something like that. So it's to the, it's shaded to the hotter side of medium, but not too hot. Sometimes after you get going and you're doing several pieces and the pan gets really hot, you'll have to turn it down. You know, you just kind of start on the upper end of the hot side on medium, but sometimes you have to crank it back a little bit as it starts getting too hot. Michelle thinks these other pieces that are over here on this plate need a little extra, so she's going to put a little extra. You know, Michelle can be a little extra herself sometimes. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but that's good. Just break it off. Yeah, we got it. So round two will be a little bit more custardy. So. so we're gonna cook these until they're brown on both sides and uh, hot all the way through, which doesn't take very long, uh, especially after your pan gets nice and hot. The butter on the outside of it makes it so good. Should get, should get pretty crispy, but not real crispy, you know? And it also depends on you, you know, if you want yours a little darker, make it a little darker. You want yours a little lighter, make it a little lighter. It's up to you. Once we get you to the pan here and get your general instructions, uh, you, you become Iron Chef from there. All right, let's see what one looks like here. There we go. There we go, we're looking good. Gonna add a little bit of bonus for y'all. At the end here, we're gonna show you how we make our sauce that we have at the house here. We make something called waffle sauce. I know it's called waffle sauce, and we're gonna use it on French toast. Uh, so it seems like a violation of the rules, but it's not, trust me, the waffle sauce goes really well. Especially when you use our particular recipe, we, uh, we like to add a little Irish cream to our uh, recipe. We uh, are uh, Scotch-Irish ourselves, so a little, a little nip here and there of the Irish cream is always an improvement just about to every sweet thing you make. All right, let's get a plate down. 
And you can tell the butter is starting to brown up pretty good. That's what that side looks like right there. We're good. We're good. All right. We'll come back and show you a little bit about how to make the waffle sauce now. All right, while Michelle finishes the uh, French toast, we've got some sugar and flour. So I think it's a quarter cup of flour, three quarter cup of sugar. And we're just gonna whisk it together. So you got something, it doesn't really have to be perfect. So just kind of dump it in your saucepan. I'm gonna turn the saucepan on now. So again, to about medium heat. Then I've got two cups here, and it is a quarter cup of cream and a cup and three quarters of milk. So we're just gonna add that in there. And we're gonna start to stir. Kinda wanna keep this stirred the whole time pretty well. So once you've got it all in together, we're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. And then we're gonna add just a touch of nutmeg. Now the cinnamon and the nutmeg are really optional. Uh, we like it, so. And then we can't forget what really makes this uh, sauce the waffle sauce that we love, which is, you know, in the words of Willy Wonka, candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. So we add a little bit of Irish cream to it and Irish cream makes everything better. It's sort of like the bacon of liqueur. A couple tablespoons, I'm guessing. Get all that whisk together as we, as it heats up, it's gonna thicken quite a bit. And we're gonna end up with a delicious waffle sauce. It works on waffles, works on French toast, works on pancakes too, but we don't eat a lot of pancakes here. Pancakes are boring. Why would anybody eat pancakes when you can have waffles? That's always been uh, our motto. And then French toast, of course, as we've, uh, Michelle's really the French toast person. She really likes French toast. I'm kind of a waffle guy. But this French toast on this uh, with the cinnamon bread, man, it is out of this world. So we'll add this in here. Uh, we'll come back in a few minutes after it's simmered a little bit. We'll show you what the finished product is. All right, Michelle's over here. We, she got excited about French toast and decided to throw some eggs together. So. Here is, you're getting close to the finished product on this waffle sauce here. Uh, you wanna turn it down. I had it to about medium, but once it starts bubbling, you know, it's sh there's a lot of sugar in there. And so sugar's gonna burn quickly. It's got a really low melting point. So you wanna be careful you don't scorch it. So I, I've got it cranked down to about three on my oven now. So I'm just waiting for the thickness that I want. Uh, one thing I forgot to add earlier was there's a couple teaspoons of vanilla also in here. So we added a couple teaspoons of vanilla. And then it calls for a little butter, and the butter goes at the very end. Now, the butter is kind of optional. Um, usually when butter goes into a product like this, it's to cut down on uh, lumps. But we've got a product that's really smooth already. I'll probably add a little bit of butter to it just because I like, uh, I like a little bit of butter in about everything I do. I'm gonna reach across my lovely wife here, grab the butter dish, slap a good tablespoon in there. It will make it really smooth. So start making it smooth. So you can see already, this is a really good consistency. And you can eat the French toast really by itself. It doesn't even really require uh, a syrup. Also, one of the things we like to do with our French toast too is our Arrington Springs Homestead honey that we sell at our farmer's market. So it's one of our value add partners. So we really like to just drizzle a little bit of their honey on it too. It's so sweet already. It's really nice. So it gives it a good finish. And it's wildflower honey and it's really clean and clear. 
so it's a great product. But you can eat it without anything. You can eat it with maple syrup. You can eat it with a little bit of honey. You can eat it with waffle sauce. And the only thing we insist you not eat it with is that ridiculous corn syrup they call pancake syrup. You buy it in the store for 89 cents. That stuff will kill you. Don't feed yourself that. We're kidding. Whatever you want to pour on it. Put hot sauce on it. I don't care. But, you know, it is slightly offensive to put corn syrup on something when maple syrup exists. Oh, and let me give you a little tip on maple syrup. If maple syrup feels a little sweet to you, cut it down with butter, about 50%. I do 50% butter, 50% maple syrup, kind of as a sauce. You can also add a little whiskey to it and make it a hard sauce. It's really good. Anyway, I'm getting carried away with my sauces, but there you have it. You have a delicious waffle sauce. Let's go see how the, all this tastes together. All right, final product here. Some the wife's eggs there, we're gonna scoop a little bit of that there. A little bit of this goes a long way. There we go. All right, let's see what it tastes like. I mean, I know what it tastes like, but I want to taste it anyway, so. Just as good as I remember it. There you go. You now have cinnamon twist, French toast, got a killer waffle sauce, a little Irish cream. Enjoy it. If you're in Nashville or in the Middle Tennessee area, you can get our cinnamon twist at uh, the Knowlesville Farmer's Market on Saturdays. And then toward the end of May, we'll also be having a booth over in Smyrna, so you can pick it up there. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your breakfast or brunch or dinner. We do breakfast for dinner all the time. Just enjoy it. See you.